So today we'll give a go at something a little bit different. Uh, John Locke has made a bunch of these um, STL files you can download that work together with the, the Leafy Key Cutter. And they're guides to help you um, manually cut your keys. Uh, so I have a key here. Um, this is a um, Schlage SC1 key. So I printed out his SC1 kit. Uh, it's got a 3, 4, 7, 5, 9, 3 bidding. And we're going to try to cut that into this key blank here and see how close it gets or if it works or anything like that. I have not tried it at all. Just printed these out. Um, what I did is I printed these uh, face down like this so that there's no overhang so you don't need any supports. But that does make the... Um, he has nice little like guidelines on here and numbering and it makes those very faint because they're face down to the to the uh, bed which is what I expected. Um, so it came out as expected and I didn't have to use any supports because of it so it was, it was nice. Um, so from what I can tell is uh, let's say that I wanted to cut that first number three I would take um, this number three and it's got a, a ridge here that fits into the warding on the side of the key here so if you put that in like that and then you push it all the way to the bow, uh, to the shoulder rather here. Um, then that's in there like that. Make sure I have the right key here. Yeah, C key, C key, and like that. So that should give you the right spacing when you take the cutter. And the first and the last ones are threes, so we'll go ahead and try to cut those. And you put the cutter like this, I guess. Uh, try to make it as parallel as possible. To the to the thing and cut like that and the last one I said was three it's kind of weird it'd be nice if it was the other way around but I guess um, the key geometry makes it have to be this way all right so let's try the last one to get a three there as well uh, what I mean by the other way around is that I could, since I'm right-handed, if I could hold, I guess if you're left-handed, this is nice, but if I was right-handed, I like to hold it like this, so I can hold more of the thing, uh, rather than just the tip when I'm cutting then. So those should be threes there, um, and I'm gonna have a lot of garbage from this. So I'll go ahead and I'll move these a bit out the way. And for this, uh, we could measure a three on here and that goes down to two and that goes down to two as well so that's a little bit shy of a three um so let's give uh let's give the four a shot see if i can push harder um to get to go further make sure that that is flat on the bottom there like that and go all the way to the shoulder and we'll try a number four so three four seven and number, oh, get it all the way lined up there. Came a bit away from that. And then go four. I'm gonna try to push down on it. Try to go, go as far as possible and cut that. All right, so there's our four. Let's see if that's uh, if that came out better. If it did, I might go back for the three. Uh, again, it's a bit, it's a bit shy. So uh, a little bit about the settings I don't think I mentioned. I printed these. Um, the layer height probably wasn't crucial. I printed at 0 0.1 layer height, which uh, probably wasn't necessary because um, the detail comes out in this the side. So maybe if I put it this way, it'd be more detail. I'm not sure. And I printed it on a, a Prusa with a 0.4 nozzle uh, that is pretty worn. It's pretty old. Um, and this is printed on uh, PETG uh, with with PETG material. So uh, overall, this thing I think took about two and a half hours to print the ten guides. Um, so it wasn't too bad. But I am getting a bit shy. So if if I just print one, if I just cut one deeper, it looks like it'll work. So instead of for for a three, use a four, and so on. But we're gonna keep going. Uh, and and we're also I'm gonna also test to see if I can get it fine enough where I can cut one extra depth. So if I cut a three here and then I kind of cut a four in the same thing, or is it gonna like slip off or anything like that? So five, uh, we'll try five. And we might make multiple five cuts um, just so that we don't need the, the cutter to go straight to a nine. Uh, it, it, 
Generally, if you're going to go too far on the cut, it's going to only go that far. Um, and you won't be able to get uh, as deep as you need to get. You need to progress your cut. So we'll try on the remaining three, we'll try this, uh, this five. Like this, get it all the way to the shoulder there. And I guess, well, I'm right-handed. This should be right. Oh, I guess I was doing it as a left-hander before. I don't know, whatever. Um, all right, so let's try this guy here. Let's push that down. Make sure everything's lined up. Push it down on there and cut. And the next one, get this out the way a little. It's a little bit fiddly to hold. Get that all the way down on there. And the next one. Get all the way down on there. Lined up. Sure. Oop. Sure, everything's lined up. Okay. So those should be all fives. So let's take this measuring tool and check those three. So. This should be a five, it goes to four, five goes to four, five goes to four. So it's reliably going one cut shy. So that's easy adjustment. It's just gonna be an issue if I try to cut a nine. Um, I won't, I don't have a 10 to go to. I have a zero, but not a 10. Uh, so that's five. Now I need sevens and nines. So here's a seven, uh, two more cuts basically. So here's a seven. I might do this on the last two. Um, and then progress to the nine. So make sure the shoulder's all the way. All right, seven and nine. So one away, here's the nine. So I'm gonna put a seven here, to the end here, and a seven here uh, on the third bit, third bidding. Okay, so those are my two sevens. I'll check those as well. Seven goes to the six, and the seven goes to the six. And now we'll try the nine. So the nine, we might not be able to cut with these. I'm gonna probably have to go one deeper with everything here. We'll try the key. <clears throat> I, I don't think it should work, but uh, the tolerances might be loose enough where it'll work. All right, so the nine, which is one away from the end. Why doesn't this look? Okay. Eight, five, seven, one away from the end. Make sure that's pushed all the way in. And straight. And there's the nine. And we have a bit of a ramp issue here, but that's uh, that's because of the cutter, not because of the guides. Uh, so we'll have to deal with that ramp with a, a file. And then a nine. Nine goes to the, oh. No, that's because I have it tilted. Go, nine goes to eight. So everything seems to be off by about one. Let's get a file here. And uh, deal with that little bit of a ramp there. File down that ramp so that it can go in and out of the keyway without issue. Right there is what I'm dealing with. else looks for be ramped okay so if I take it against the original key uh, actually I'll put the original key in front because everything should be high actually compared to the original key it looks pretty good hmm let's try it in the lock oh not at the back of the lock front of the lock all right having a bit of a ramp issue going in See where that is. Oh, there's a little. I think it's right there. A little catch. That's again off of the deepest cut. Both sides have a bit of a ramp issue. 
that's normal i think with eight and nine cut on the using the lishi uh key cutter tool um and you just have to file those ramps manually there we go and we'll try that out goes in nice ah, it doesn't work the original key works fine so can we adjust each of these by a little bit? So um, the threes have to go to fours, uh, which is here. And we'll, we'll try to cut everything deeper by one. And it could just be that these guides need to be adjusted by that little bit. So we need fours on the first and last bidding. So here's the last one. Push it down. All right, just snip off a little bit, and then the first, I'm gonna use left hand because it's um, like that. I'm gonna snip it a little bit off there. Let's see if that did anything. Oh, it's tight, but it's working. So got those threes lower, it is tight. So let's try to see if the, if we can cut the four lower. So tight because some of the pins are being pushed up too high by this key. Um, yeah, on this side, yeah. So this is going to be the, I'm going to cut the four with a five. Uh, with the five guide, I'm going to cut the four. So that's going to be number two here. The cutter the right way around. Get it in there like that. Okay. See, it's still tight. Uh, it no longer works. So that that ended up cutting that too low. Let's see. That second one got cut too low. And it still says four. Doesn't quite go to the five. So that's interesting. Um, so it cuts it pretty close. The threes uh, seemed a bit off. Uh, and then it worked once I changed those. If I look at the bidding specs, we can also look at um, uh, the depths. So the threes should go to 0.29. Make sure that we're zeroed out. So the threes should go down to 0.29. Um, and these were with four, the fours, right? Because I switched it to four. So 0 0.29. Um, and the fours should go to 0.275. And this I cut with a five. And it went too low um, by a decent amount. Uh, the one that I cut with, then I also cut the, cut this one with a five. So it's very consistent, at least, 2695, 2695. So the two fives are cut very consistently. Um, and that was cut with two separate spots on the guide, right? Uh, it was uh, <clears throat> in, in, in chambers two and four, and it cut those very consistently. So the only thing I messed up on this key is that um, I, I, I cut the, the number four too low because I used five. So it could just be that with this number three, and I, I could try, I'll try this on another key um, that I need to cut these, uh, what am I saying? I need to make sure that these are uh, a bit lower, a little tiny bit, and then it should work. So John Locke has made uh, a bunch of these. Um, I, I don't think he had a chance to try them out, but here's me trying them out and I'll let him know that it works pretty good. Um, I'll cut another key uh, and, and see if it's just the three that needs adjusting. Even after I adjusted the threes, it was a bit tight. So there was something else in here that was uh, giving me an issue um, that was kind of tight. If I can uh, maybe pull it a little, get that. No. All right. Anyways, uh, these are the these are available on Thingiverse from John Locke, um, and he has them in QuickSet and a number of other different uh, profiles. Thanks everyone. Bye.